We're doing some B-Raw tests for an upcoming web series, and my wife, Trisha was again kind enough to help us out, and also a good friend of mine and great DP here in New York City and collaborator, Nathaniel Brown, came over to, to help us find a look for the show. And at the same time, he tested out a new production monitor that, that he's using, and that was an immensely, immensely helpful. I put his info below so that you can check out his Instagram to see when that review will be posted. So yeah, again, thank you to both of them for helping me out. And um, this first shot here is a 50 millimeter zine at 2.8. And, and one suggestion Nathaniel had for this look was to put a tungsten bulb, right now a daylight bulb is in that lamp. He suggested putting a tungsten bulb in that lamp to kind of help get that warm look that I, I want. And also it would be a nice uh, contrast to all of the daylight lighting that we have going on inside the room. What you looking at, Trisha? What are you looking at? You eyeballing me? Anyway, um, then we move from the 50 to the 85. And I was I actually really like the 85. You really get a sense of the room still. Um, it's a close up. Uh, you, you, again, you could see more of what's going on with her. And this is the 135. And I'm not sure how much I would use this 135. I'm losing the sense of the room. Again, we kept the camera in the same place just for simplicity as we were doing the lighting test. So maybe if I framed this differently, I'd be a lot more happier with it. But, but right now, that 85 kind of jumped out at me as a, a good close-up lens to use for the web series. Uh, the 50 was really nice. Um, we also have a 24. Oh, and this is the OC monitor that, that Nathaniel was trying out. So again, make sure to check out that review when that comes out. You know, it's one of those things as an independent filmmaker, you kind of wonder how you made it without these things, and you just make do with what you have, of course. But when he brought this over, this was, it was unbelievably helpful to have this. You know, we went through the looks and the LUTs, and just to have a screen that size to kind of view everything and to see what's going on, uh, you kind of get a sense of you know, what, at least what it would look like on, on a large television. And this is the false colors, and we took pictures of this so that we could recreate the look when we come back to shoot this. All right, thanks for watching. Robert Manning Jr., AlphaOmegaFilms.com, and I'll talk to you soon.